I'm here with the Minister for Education, Sarah Mitchell, at the brand new hydrotherapy pool at Yawara Special Needs School. And really, this is as good as it gets. And for you, Minister, we turned the sod, now we're here opening it. How good? Uh, it's so exciting. Honestly, Dougal, this is one of the best facilities I've seen at a school anywhere right across New South Wales. And you know what a deserving school to deliver this hydrotherapy pool. They do an amazing job here at Yawara for the kids. And I'm just so excited that we've seen, seen this project come to fruition. They will be using the school as of next week and by next year this will be open to the community. So not just a school pool, a community facility. Yeah, and that's so good because when we're investing this money in school infrastructure, if we can open things up to the community, particularly when there's a need for it. You know, you've talked to me about the need for hydrotherapy services in Dubbo before. I know this is something really close to your heart as well. And, you know, it's just win-win. The school benefits and the community benefits as well. Along the way, we've had about 53 locals employed here to help build this and facilitate it. Uh, from pool shops to actual builders and concreters. So jobs stay in regional areas and support regional communities, which again, ticks lots of boxes. That's right, you know, local investment in the local community. And I think this year, particularly in an area like Dubbo, we've had drought, we've had the pandemic. So if we can keep jobs in town, employ locals on these sort of projects, it's just great news. Next time you come, we'll have a swim. Yeah, right, I'll bring the swimmers next time. <laughs>